Hello students. So once again with English of class 6 and the book is what supplementary reader. The name of the book is supplementary reader and a pact with the sun. This is the name of the book. A pact with the sun. So, dear student, in the last class, uh, we have learned about two different types of what? Uh, birds. Uh, a tale of two birds. So now I am here with a new relation that is the friendly mongoose. The friendly mongoose chapter 2 from the supplementary book of class 6. So here what we will learn a farmer and his wife and their small child lived in a village. They where they live in a small village and there was also a baby mongoose in the house who they believe would be their son's companion and friend in future. Then one day what will happen, the farmer and his wife went out leaving the child alone with the mongoose. So how these things will happen, we will see in this lesson. So once there was a farmer who lived with his wife and with, a, with their small child yeah. whom they loved so much whom they loved so much and uh, the farmer one day she to he told his wife that they should keep a pet they should keep a pet as some animal and you know? they should keep a pet then why they decided to keep why the farmer think in that way because uh, when, whenever their child will grow, her son will grow, uh, that pet will be the son's companion. Pet will be the son's companion. And this idea of having a pet and that will be the son's companion, no? Uh, this idea his wife liked too. His wife liked. So, one evening, the farmer, what happened, he brought one, uh, a tiny mongoose with him. He brought a very small mongoose with him. It's a baby mongoose. It's a baby mongoose. He brought that baby mongoose in the house. Why? Because it was believed that it would be their son's company and friend. When? In future. So that's why. That is the reason. And they said, but will soon be fully grown and he will be friend to our son. And farmer said that this mongoose will be fully uh, will uh, grow quickly and uh, will be uh, son's companion. Then both the baby and the mongoose they grew. Mongoose as well as the baby. They grew together. Then in five or six months, the mongoose had grown uh, to its full size. In just five or six months, the baby mongoose, uh, it grown fully to its full size. And a lovely animal with two shining black eyes with a boozy tails with a what signing <coughs> black, black eyes and a busy tail the farmer's son was still a small baby in his cradle was still in his cradle a small baby okay now sleeping and crying uh, alternatively no so he was still baby in the cradle cradle means where the baby uh, where we where the babies we should Keep, no, that is called the cradle, a type of like wooden box, no, that is called the cradle. So, if yeah, you see in the picture what this is called the cradle, okay. So, still that baby 
their son is still in the cradle and the mongoose uh, it is after just five or six months uh, to its full size now one day the farmer's wife wanted to go to the market she wanted to go to the market and she fed the baby then what she did and just rocked him to sleep means saying this and that no by singing song or that is called uh, rocking the baby for what to sleep <coughs> and she told picking up the basket then she told her husband to take care of the baby to take care of the baby the baby was the baby is sleeping then keeping an eye on him frankly i don't leave the uh, child alone with the mongoose you need not be afraid said the farmer the mongoose what is a friendly animal is as sweet as baby no as is that mongoose is as sweet as their baby and they are the best friends they are the best friend the wife what she said she did not want to go to the market by leaving the baby alone at home with the mongoose because the mongoose it is in full size you know after five or six months but the baby is still in his cradle and uh, she afraid that something would happen you know but her husband uh, he told her that nothing will be wrong just uh, leave them and he will be uh, he will at home he is at home he will take care and there is nothing to be uh, worried about this that mongoose is uh, very friendly so he will, he will not harm the baby she said, uh, the farmer said to his wife then the wife went away and the farmer having nothing to do at home wife she has gone to the market to bring the vegetables and so on, so many other things and the farmer what she did uh, with nothing to do at home uh, what he had decided to go and take a look at his field take a look at his field which is not so far from his home so he had decided to just to go and look at his field so he took time to come to his home while coming on the way he um, he met his friends and he talks with them and he uh, what he was taking much time to return his home so the small baby it is at home with the mongoose okay now the farmer's wife returned home from the market carrying a heavy basket she returned home with what with uh, the heavy basket and what she found after reaching home she found that the mongoose which is at the entrance which is at the door she always the mongoose he always the mongoose he does this whenever someone no goes out uh, he go he goes to the door and he welcome to uh, his masters like farmer or farmer's wife so this time also he did the same thing he went and uh, welcome the farmer's wife and what the farmer's wife she saw there with blood on his face with blood on his face and paws with blood on his face and paws and by looking that she started crying see what she did she jumped to the conclusion that it was her son's blood what she did she jumped to the conclusion that it was the son's blood and the mongoose was the guilty one so she thought that the mongoose he killed the baby killed the baby and the mongoose was the guilty one she just 
came to this uh, conclusion and what she did she uh, just threw this with anger this heavy basket on the uh, over the what mongoose and on the spot the mongoose was there and she ran into the house uh, she was crying and she found that uh, a black you no know, a very long snake was lying on the what floor which torn which were blood spread on the floor and it was lying there and by then she realized she realized and she also have seen uh, he, her baby was sleeping quietly you know, in the uh, cradle then she realized then that what mistake, what mistake she has done what mistake she has done she realized this and she started crying and she was regretting that what she has done it was her big big mistake that she quickly came to this conclusion that uh, the mongoose he killed his uh, her baby so to show some you no know, something it is running in her mind that what she has done she was regretting so much and she uh, was crying and she ran again uh, where uh, before the mongoose which was uh, lying flat no which was uh, which has no uh, life in it so he was lying there on the door just near the door uh, then the farmer's wife she was crying no she was crying the tears which was uh, flowing on the falling on the way uh, mongoose but there was no uh, any motions there was no life in mongoose so she was just regretting and regretting see then baby her baby she he cried and she went into the kitchen uh, in, into the room into the house <coughs> to feed him so this was what uh, the lesions and how the farmer's wife without thinking much no he reacted so much quickly he she quickly reacted so much and <coughs>